Come on in. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I just want to show you really quickly. I'm wearing a snowman. I'm Allison, by the way. I'm Cinnamon. All right, Cinnamon, what's your, what are your favorite uh, Thanksgiving traditions growing up in the same house as we did? <laughs> I do enjoy the parade. Yeah. I used to love, love, love cold turkey the next day. I used to love the cold turkey. So, quick, quick side note. I'm a vegetarian now. I became a vegetarian first. Did you hear that? Sound everyone turning off their screens because they're like, vegetarians, boop! I've got a question for you. What's my favorite tradition? No. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite dish? Oh, I, I love uh, the teacups. <laughs> <laughs> I like a nice mug. Your favorite dish? My favorite dish? I like mugs. What would be our menu? It would be mashed potatoes. Yeah. Corn. Yes. Or corn souffle, maybe. Little cranberry sauce. Yeah. Um, Yams with the... With with fluff or no? Uh, not so much? Not necessarily. I didn't, I don't need the to rolls. Have rolls for sure. Definitely my string bean casserole. I mean, Whoa. you love it more than I do. I'm not, I won't have it. I might have a nibble. I'm not a huge You're not allowed casserole. anymore. Don't even put your spoon near it. <laughs> that you're not, I don't laugh. You're okay, not I, having any. Uh, what kind of pie would you oh, think of as a Oh, humble. Skin? Humble pie for this one over here who just destroyed my heart by telling me she's not. That's the only dish I make every year. I just want but to you know that backstory. Oh, you love backstory. of it. I don't have that same Do you not love green bean casserole? Who doesn't? What's not to love? The green beans and the celery. I don't use mushroom soup. I use celery soup. Don't start shaking your heads and saying that's the reason. No, it's not to do the flavor. It's the, it's the um, consistency is a little bit. I just... Gelatinous? I just... I, I'll have a couple spoonfuls. It's not my thing. Okay. All right. Not my thing. And we'll, we'll leave you on that note. Guys, get ready for some fun games. All right. So the, the first activity we have, I wanted everything to be very on theme. So uh, tea is... A, it's a taste test. Oh, okay. I've prepared... Uh, there are three teacups here. There. That, that's the perspective. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to tell you, there it is. Now we're back here. I'll tell you the uh, three teas. Uh, do you know this one? I think it's Rubois. Is it Rubois? It's an herbal tea that tastes like it's supposed to duplicate the flavor of black tea. I can actually, it doesn't taste like That's black one tea. option. The other one is 100% pure oolong tea, oolong? Okay. which is warm and savory. And last, but certainly not least, we have a Lapsang Suchong. Uh, I hope that's how you say it. And I've heard it's, of song. I didn't know there was, were two names to it. It does say dare uh, to try one of the world's oldest and most distinctive mm -hmm. black teas. It is 100% pure black tea. Okay. It might be why it smells like fire. Do you notice there's like a, an earthy... It's it might almost, be the mantle. We had a fire yesterday. It there's, smells like chai tea to me. Something smells like chai tea. Really? Something smells like a burning house. And I hope it's not the lap song. What do you think? That's the burned, that's is that the bark. Is it like a burnt house? It smells like a, um, it tastes like a, uh, what, fire. You, what you pull out of the fireplace. Yeah. After Can I the... smell it? Then I won't taste it, but this is the you one. Let me, it. Let me you see. You can taste it. You should taste it because something was burned. <laughs> Ooh. I don't, what is that? That's very, that's hurtful. What is that's, that? That's that, actually, that does taste like that literally. Is, is, well, good thing I have a good nose because I knew right away something was not right. And what that was is, that is Don't the, tell me. I'm supposed to guess. Aren't yeah. I which do you think? <laughs> <laughs> which do you think that is well that's going to be the oldest one of the bunch because it tastes like something that was burned a while ago. i think you're probably right i wish i had made notes wait you don't know which one i'm which? trying to, i think that's it i'm pretty sure 99.9 percent. so my guess is this is lap song but since there's no right answer but there no there is no, no i remember thinking it was the oldest one that tasted like a burnt piece of coal all right, Sin, take another sip. <laughs> All right. All right, Sin, what do you think that one is? What was your, what's your reaction well, to the flavor? Well, I have to add in contrast okay. to the other one. Okay, well, for sure. that's an interesting. I mean, I think it's the oolong, but I just want to be All sure. All right. Okay. Well, I know I don't like um, the rubois, <laughs> or however you pronounce Those it. Those rubois. Because it's supposed to be a, um, to me... It, you can taste that it's not black tea. Okay. But, so, so let me just see if I can. All right. See if you can. Let me just, I'm, I want to taste this one. That's okay. the oolong and that's okay. the rubois. No, you're wrong. Sin. Am I wrong? Your first instinct was correct. I wanted to have. This is, is the, the oolong. oolong and this is rudeboy. Number two of our three games. Oh. We have some just kind of keeping it again on theme. Okay. Animal tracks. Let's see if you can oh. identify so these you're animal doing, tracks. You're taking each part of our 
morning show a little bit. and making a game out a of it. A little bit. Uh, wait, wow, wow, Coyote at the door. <laughs> and by that I mean Max, of course. What you what you what you missed is a coyote is in our backyard because this is a night shoot, guys. We told you. Good and uh so so Max got riled up because there's a coyote literally back there. There's the camera. As there raining. often is. Often is a coyote. And so Max is going wild. So we thought, well, we'll put him outside. Time for the showdown to finally <laughs> Put, no, he, actually, he the coyotes no should access. be scared of him. He, there's, there's no access. he has no access to the back. <laughs> Only through this back door that he's trying to get back to. I'm going to show uh, you as I show you. So, Sin, this is the track we're looking at okay. in real time. Uh, there's a human hand, just to give you a yeah, little size. There's size. Is this a wolverine, a bobcat, a deer, or a raccoon? I'm going to say it's a bobcat. Not a wolverine. You sure? Final answer? Yes. Sin, that is correct. That I'm is a bobcat. Right. Wow. Next, Sin, for this print, would this be the great blue heron, an eagle, a bullfrog, or a deer? Well, it's definitely not a frog because you can see the wing. Prints. Yeah, I, so I, 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 I I'm hear gonna that. I'm going to go with eagle. Okay, you're incorrect. It's a bullfrog. I think those wings might be from <laughs> snatching the bullfrog. The next footprint is oh, this it's a bear. one. I know, I thought that was obvious, but if it's black bear, wolf, uh, yeti, or is it a grizzly? The grizzly doesn't come up there. No, but I'm just asking, black bear or grizzly? It's what would definitely you... a bear. Okay, well. <laughs> Next, is this a horse, a wolf, a rabbit, or a deer? It's definitely a deer. That is correct. So this is the last That's one. It's a raccoon. Is this a raccoon, a bobcat, a coyote, or it's a, raccoon. A, a stamp? It's a raccoon. You don't think that's a stamp? Stamp of what? It's just someone who has a raccoon paw print stamp, which do you think it is? <laughs> This last thing is trivia questions. Okay. Sin, how long was the first Thanksgiving celebration in America? Well, we won't say in America because it wasn't quite America yet, but you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. Um, I'm going to say it was 10 days long. Ah. What do you guys think? Three days. Oh, okay. Three days. Uh, what meats were served at the first Thanksgiving meal? Uh, probably venison, yes. maybe some duck. Yes. Um, lobster. Ooh, that's yes. Um, well, Oysters that's and fish. Wow, okay. Yes. Swan. A geese. Am I, are you guessing or am I guessing? <laughs> Everything. Allison, I was still guessing. You're but turkey. Me. No okay. turkey at that. Well, how do they know there was wild turkey? They didn't have wild no, turkey in these No, they fish? did not. Oh, they did not. When I used to uh, live in Texas, I would see a lot of wild turkey. All right. Uh, <laughs> I would say one, but many times. Cinnamon, how many women were at the first Thanksgiving? Two. Oh, you went low on that one. I'd like to know how many people, first of I all. I know. That might help to it, know. They, they, but I'm, I'm going to guess two. There okay. were uh, five women. Okay. Okay. But how many people were there? I don't, were there ten? Seven. Was that half? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? All right. No. Which president made Thanksgiving a permanent national holiday? Um, I actually knew this one once upon a time, but I'm just going to say JFK. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that was a while ago then. Which president refused to celebrate Thanksgiving? This will shock you. Was it you. JFK? Okay. It was Thomas Jefferson. How many uh, Americans prefer Thanksgiving leftovers to Thanksgiving dinner itself? Oh, how many Americans percentage-wise? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be like 98%. Everyone loves the... the... That's what I hear. It's 80%. Mm. But, uh, and then, uh, um, they get to have all the food without doing all the prep. The prep is such a hard last question, a little bit controversial. Let's see if our audience thinks so too. Which is the most preferred pie at Thanksgiving? Oh, it's going to be pumpkin. Is it apple or pumpkin? It's pumpkin without a doubt. Pumpkin. What apple do you is, think? Apple is July 4th. It's apple. That's full. <laughs> so you can't say that soon. You can't say that. All right. We'll end there. Thank you for joining us. And we want to just say. Thinking about you, love. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thinking of you, love, bug. And you're on the road trip, aren't you, love? Do unto others. As you would have them do unto you.